Did I just pop the button off? What the heck? This is so complicated. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. I am making my try on hauls a regular thing on my channel because you guys seem to love it and it gives me a reason to online shop. So for this try on haul, I have pieces from different Asian fashion brands. They do look pretty promising on the website. So let's dive into it. Are you guys ready to join me for an emotional roller coaster? Because that's what try on hauls are about. So these pants are from a Taiwanese brand called Bisu Bisu. It has like a rib sort of material. I got this one because I liked the color and because I don't own any flared pants and at the bottom you can see they kind of flare out a little bit retro is coming back in so you know that's why i got these they look super long though so this net piece is called the pocahontas top in beige i got this one because the model wearing those flared pants had this top on and i was like you know what it's giving me those retro vibes and there's like little particles flying everywhere from this top oh my gosh it kind of stinks. It smells like it's been like kept away for like 30 years and it's all dusty. That's what it smells like. Anyways, it gave me that retro vibe and so I thought, yes, I shall try these. Okay, so I have these pants on and I kind of regret saying that I liked the color of this because it kind of just looks like my skin tone. So maybe from a distance, it kind of looks like I'm not wearing pants. So this is what it looks like with heels on. They still drag on the floor, but do you guys know what I mean about the the color of this? I think if your skin tone didn't match this, it would be fine. In saying that, they're very comfy. They feel like loungy home pants, if you know what I mean. It is giving me those retro vibes with the flared bottoms. There's also like a little slit here. I definitely need to get this like cut and hemmed up. What is this? No shoes. I look a little bit like a bit homeless. I could just literally clean the floors with these. I think I'll just keep these as home pants. Oh yeah, I definitely have to keep this inside the house because it looks like it's giving me like a camel toe. Oh, so not flattering. Let's try it with the top on. Okay, maybe we can look a bit better with the top on. Oh man, this stinks. I definitely need to throw this in the wash. It just looks very, very different to what I envisioned. In the photo, the model is wearing like a sort of like black boob tube-ish top. So you can kind of see like her skin here, but it's okay. We'll just be the more conservative version of her. I'm going to lose my balance. I probably won't wear this ensemble. I just think it doesn't look as great as the model. Though, like the model, she looks really fierce, that hairstyle. Like she can definitely rock it. Me, I kind of look like I'm ready to join the circus almost. I do think I could wear this top like to the beach or something or even with like denim shorts. I just don't think, you know, this set works for me. But yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. I like the material. I don't like how it smells. Though. It kind of smells like a vintage store or like salvos, if you know what I mean, if you're from Australia. Also, I like the tassel thing at the back. I do like the detailing on this. I'm just noticing my like hip dips and like all these like lumps and bumps. When I look at her, hers is just smooth. I'm a little bit rough around the edges. If I put my arms up, you can see what I'm talking about. What are these hips? I got childbearing hips. That's what they are. <laughs> my mum will be very pleased. The same brand also made like a dress version of that netted material. And this is the Pocahontas beach gown. Oh my God, I'm so like tangled. I'm not really good at showing you this. So this is like a cut out dress. I only got it because it reminds me of what Camila Cabello wore in Senorita, you know, with Shawn Mendes. <laughs> My lover boy. Sorry, Alfred. This is a little bit over the top, I must admit. And it's like the most expensive piece here at $120. I really hope it works out. Dude, am I wearing this wrong? Is it supposed to like show my underwear? What the heck? This is so complicated. Alfred, can I get your help with this? This dress needs to come with like a user manual. I think it's just crisscross and then like tie together. Can you smell this dress? Yeah, it stinks. 
Wait, is there underwear in here? Oh my gosh, there is the underwear part. I'm supposed to step into it. I'm so sorry, you have to undo me now. I was like, what is this side pocket? <laughs> the underwear part is smaller than my actual underwear. So what, you're not supposed to wear underwear at all. You're supposed to just wear the underwear. It's very revealing, isn't it? It's so complicated. This is like when we have to like assemble Ikea stuff. We're like lost. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to wear a bra with this. But let's just see if, if I can get away with just, you know, I don't want to flash you guys. Once it's tied, it's not too bad. Like it's just because I'm wearing a bra underneath. But if you guys just Photoshop my bra out, it will look better. I don't know how I feel about this, but I outfit kind of looks disgusting, but I kind of like it. I don't know if it's just this monitor like playing tricks on me, but it actually doesn't look that bad. We need to bring up the photo of Camilla because it's like giving me Camilla vibes. Hello, Sean Mendes. This is Tina Cabello here. You're supposed to have your arms around me. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it when you call me. <laughs> Do we look like them? Fun fact, guys, we are exactly the same height. Alfred is the same height as Shawn Mendes, and I'm the same height as Camilla. I love it when you call me. I don't, I don't hate it, and I don't love it, but I like it. You know what I mean? I like it. I don't know. Where would I wear it to? I have no idea because this is going to be too much for the beach. But maybe if someone had a beach wedding. Maybe we had a beach wedding. Maybe not this dress. I just need a lot of like double-sided tape, even duct tape or something to hold this material down. But other than that, like it's actually quite heavy. So I feel like it's good quality. It just stinks. But yeah, just waiting for Sean Mendes to come get me. We'll come when we can fly after COVID. Then you'll be worried, Alfred. Next, we have a set, guys. This is the white set, so I, I feel very confident with this one. It's called the Keep Up With Me set. So it comes with the shirt. It's quite long, actually. And then there's like matching shorts. In the photo, it looks like she's wearing a belt, but in the package, there is no belt. <sighs> So this is the white set on. I ended up finding the little waist belt, which is going to really transform this because right now it just looks like I'm wearing an oversized top. Okay, so this is not a bad set. It feels actually really nice on. It's very, very flowy, very, very comfortable. I guess like, you know, it's meant to look like you're wearing an oversized top or a dress. If it was a dress, it'd be super short, but you've got the shorts underneath. Oh, do they have pockets? They have pockets. Yes, it is a winner for me. I think it looks better when it's a little bit more, a little bit low cut. Looks more cash. Oh my God, my neck's gonna break. How does she do this? Come, come to me, my little butterfly. The white material, it's quite sheer, so you can kind of see my underwear. So you're gonna have to wear nude underwear, but it's perfect for like a hot day. Oh, you probably see sweat marks, hey? It's okay though. I could also like change up the waist belt and pop something else on if I want like something more contrasty. Without the waist belt, it looks like I'm doing the walk of shame wearing some guy's shirt out. So I think you definitely need a waist belt with this sort of style. I like it guys, I like it. It has pockets. This is from a Korean brand called Dabba Girl. Do you guys remember the Steve Irwin, the crikey overall top set thing that I wore? This is from the same brand and this is their diagonal fly boot cut jeans. Yes, diagonal fly. Didn't know that was a thing, but maybe it's like a hot trend that's up and coming. The leg part, it just kind of flares out a little bit. So it's like a boot cut style. Oh, this one's so soft. Huh? <laughs> okay, guys, so this is like a t-shirt top. It's from a brand called Morong Shop, a cream brand. And this is their short sleeve t-shirt and hand warmers. Those are the hand warmers. So they're, they're not attached and I think I prefer it like that because maybe you can move around. Again, maybe like this retroness is coming back, all these fashion trends. Hand warmers were a thing, I think. I learned my lesson last time with Korean denim. Always go a size up, maybe even two sizes up. This is a large. So there's two buttons, one on the inside. Ugh, man, it's tight. And then one on the outside. 
It's not as tight as the minus five kilo jeans. So this pair of jeans actually fit really nicely. It's got stretch in it. It's not super thin. I guess I would say it's more on the thick end, but it's that stretchy sort of denim, if you know what I mean. The only thing is, I don't know if I can pull off this diagonal zip design. Like up close, it kind of just looks like it didn't fit and it's just warping. Alfred, what do you think? Can, do you notice the fly area? <laughs> Does this look silly? It looks weird. If I was walking, is that going to distract you? Yes. You'd look twice, right? I would. I probably wouldn't want you looking twice there. I mean, in the photo, you can clearly see that it is going sideways, but I think she's wearing double denim and it's not super distracting because it's like, it almost looks like she's wearing a whole jumpsuit. You know, it could be an up and coming trend. Oh, I really like the fit of this, but why the fly? I mean, I, I knew it was a diagonal fly pair of jeans but I, I I didn't know what really what what did it mean you know what would it look like on me now I know Alfred just says it looks like I've got a side wedgie probably not the compliment that I would want but okay from the back everything fits really nicely the length it's supposed to be cropped obviously it's full length on me because I am petite it's a nice pair of jeans oh could I pull off side fly Tell me guys in the comment, is my side fly distracting you? Should I keep this or should I not? Look at that. I might have to greet people like this. I might have to be like, hey guys, how are you? And just like, just not show the fly. Okay, so I've got the top on. It looks like a, just a regular t-shirt though it feels really nice it feels like a teddy bear you know it's just really soft you have to wear it with these the arm warmers oh there's a little hole for my thumb <laughs> what do you guys think it's definitely keeping my arms warm it's interesting it kind of looks like i broke both my arms and they're in cuffs what do we think of this this is a trend. What is this supposed to be? This is arm warmers to keep the arm warm, but not this section of the arm. Why? Because long sleeves are so yesterday. Together with the jeans, I feel like it's just unique. Let's just say it's very unique. In Vietnam, the women usually wear something like this and like it will be like a glove or something like this where it's just cut off so that they don't get tan in the sun. So maybe that fashion trend has adapted to this sort of dial. I look like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass. The model made it look cool and trendy. Okay, let's just be honest. I'm probably not on that level that I can pull this off, but I think if I just wear it with confidence, maybe if I had like baggier jeans, it could be, it could be a look, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm a contemporary dancer and I'm just, doing something oh my god i had my back crack oh that back bend was too much oh, this one looks good this is the 80s girl jumpsuit in white so it comes with like a belt and it's just like those zip up jumpsuits do you call them like a boiler suit or is that different it's honestly gonna be long on me but if everything else fits i think this is gonna look really really cute on <laughs> i'm excited about this one. Ooh, okay okay charlie's angels i am coming to join the group oh i'm surprised it's actually really fitted oh it's so cute oh my gosh with shoes on the length is okay the only thing is like with jumpsuits like this crotch area is kind of like a little bit low for me like if it would end around here it would be good but then i get a camel toe i guess you can't win okay you can't win i can even like zip this down and kind of like play around with the neckline oh my gosh so cute so cute oh my gosh does it have pockets <gasps> they have pockets! Odd pockets at the front, but pockets nevertheless. Nevertheless. Oh, they're too tight. I cannot lift my leg up. Without shoes, it is a little bit long, but maybe I can just like fold it up. 
This is my favorite outfit so far. It fits nicely. I like the material. I like the cut of it. I just like the style, you know? Do you like this boot? It's cute, right? I can just like be groovy with this. I think I found my mojo, guys. This little number is called the Hot Dog Stand Denim Dress. So it's in this like beigey color. It's a thin denim, so it's not very thick. Perfect for Singapore weather. I just really like this sort of style denim. In the photo, the model, she either wears it with a tea dress, a tea, tea dress, a t-shirt underneath, or she can just wear the dress alone. And I really like the name because who doesn't like hot dog stands? Oh, the buttons on this are interesting. Oh. Did I just pop the button off? Oh man. I was just gonna say these buttons are really, really cute because they're like little squares, but it's beveled. The button is too small for the button hole, so it's a little bit like loose. If I make any sudden movements, it just pops out. I should have sized up for this one. Everything so far from this brand, Bizu Bizu, like the sizing has been pretty good. Like a small is pretty accurate because I'm usually a small in like most Western sizes. So it's unlike some cream brands, you have to like go up two sizes with Bizu Bizu generally. I didn't have to do that except this one. This one feels tight. Like I should have got a medium or something. I can't button up these top ones and these bottom buttons keep kind of like popping and so it's kind of like warping the whole dress it's definitely not looking like the model so on the website you can see this model is 170 and she's like 48 kilos so she's very very thin so i think small was fine but for this on me it's more like the bust area that i can't really close up it's okay you know what i probably wouldn't have liked this anyway because there's no pockets i need my pockets. There is another way to wear this. So I'm going to try the second way because the model, instead of crisscrossing the back, she just puts the strap straight down. So that might help. Oh my God, this button's just hanging by a thread. I spoke too soon, it fell off. Darn it. I haven't even worn for that long and two buttons have already fallen off. On a side note, if I remove my bra, I can button up the top. But now I've got to fix two damn buttons. It's very, very loose. I would have to wear this with the top, but you know what? I just don't like it. The buttons weren't sewn on very well. The material of the dress feels like good quality. Quality of the button attachments, not so great. Oh yes. This is from a Korean brand called Deep Knee, and this is their balloon sleeve leopard mini dress. This one, I really liked the color. It's not your like traditional leopard. Um, color scheme but um, I think it looks really cute on the model and I like that it's like long sleeve as well it smells kind of sour can you tell that my the boob area is just here and my actual boob ends here I definitely need to fix up this bust area the bust area is a little bit smaller and honestly, in the photo, the model looks like she's more busty as well so I feel like it does look true to the photo from a distance you can't really tell because of the pattern, but when you look up close, maybe you can kind of tell that it kind of sits a little bit higher. I think this dress is cute. It's not like the Princess Polly dresses that were like, you know, super, super cute on. This one, it's okay. I like, I do like the pink leopard print and the material feels good. But yeah, what do you guys think? Hmm? Ew, we've got some black in this haul. Oh no, I don't know how I feel about this one. This dress is like a spaghetti style dress and it has drawstrings on both sides so you can either like ruche it up to shorten it or you can wear it longer. Looking at the photos, I really don't know why I got this one. I think I wanted something that was a little bit more loose fitting because all the other rouged up drawstring dresses that I've bought, they're quite tight. So this one was more loose fitting and it was black so it will make me look slimmer. Okay, this is what it looks like long. Zen says I look like a nori strip, you know those like seaweed snacks because it's just like a rectangle and I agree it's giving me seaweed vibes. So let's just see what it looks like if I rouge it up. It's really short. I think I've made it too short. Oh yeah that is too short. <laughs> Got carried away, sorry guys. So I feel like maybe this length is okay. I just look like a shorter piece of nori. 
Maybe it looks good because she's tall and I'm just lost. Look, the material is nice and silky. Just the design, I don't know. How am I gonna make this work? I like this part up. I don't like this part down. Hey, you know what? Now that I look at it again, I think I prefer it long as opposed to the short. I just need like a little waist belt and then it gives me shape again. So I think I can make this work. That's a nice dress if it was this shape. Definitely need to buy a sewing machine to do an episode on. Tina fixes it. I'm like, seaweed in the ocean. This one is a jumpsuit. It's a lace style jumpsuit. I really like this one because of the cut and I like the lace or the scallop detailing on the front here. Also around the legs, it starts to sort of like sheer out because the lining sort of like is shorts underneath, if you know what I mean. Ooh, I'm so sad guys, this jumpsuit doesn't fit me very well. As you can see, like this part here, it's not adjustable, so that's why it's a little bit too long for me and it's just, it's very, very loose. And it's just because my torso is short. I guess I just have to like fix it like that, then it would look good. But that aside, um, you can see that there is like lining here. So it looks like I'm wearing like shorts underneath and then the material shears out. And I really like the legs or the lace flary bits at the end. I really like these. I like the design. Oh no, no pockets. I need to find someone who can just put pockets on all my clothes because pockets are a must. Even on the model in the photo, like the top area, the bust area, it looks kind of like it's, it's a bit wide on hers. So I don't think it really even fits her properly. I wonder if I could just get this made into pants because that's the part that I'm loving, the lower part. This is the perfect paradise linen midi dress. This is definitely something like more my style. I probably gravitate to something like this for more like casual everyday wear. Oh my gosh, I love, love this. This is definitely right up my alley. This is my sort of style. You know, I just love dresses that stinch you in, but then kind of have a bit more like material to kind of flare out. So it gives you that more like an hourglass shape. And there's pockets. Also, because the neckline is quite low as well, I feel like even though you're not showing anything, it's a little bit sexy, you know? Everything feels really, really comfortable. The length is also good. I kind of feel like Mary Poppins, you know what I mean? La -dee -da -dee -da. Spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. I think this dress has a very classic silhouette and that's what I'm drawn to. I like this better than the jumpsuit. Those are my top two so far. Next, we have a bodycon dress, but a long sleeve one, and it has like a cut out at the front. The material this feels interesting. I don't know, like it, it's definitely a knit fabric, but it kind of feels like velvety, if you know what I mean. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa. I thought I would like this one because it's very similar to that purple cutout dress from Sheen and it had like similar sort of style, long sleeve, had a cutout. But now that I've got this on, I feel like it makes me look bigger than I am, if you know what I mean. This is like a bodycon fitted dress. So, I mean, I guess it's just showing what's there. But I think the material is a little bit more, it's like a knit, so it is a little bit thicker as well. It just looks really frumpy on me. I think what makes it work on the model is that she's got this like cool, edgy look and she wears it with combat boots and she makes it look trendy and edgy. Whilst me here, <laughs> I look like I should be patrolling Santa's workshop. Just no, I just, I, I can't make this one work. I think this one is not a keeper. So we have come to the end of this try on haul. What are my thoughts? Well, out of everything I bought, two pieces were standout pieces, my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. Maybe half of them I could wear again. I could make it work. And the other half needs to find a new home. One thing I must say is that most of the pieces fitted really well considering it was like Asian fashion brands. Usually a lot of the Asian fashion brands carry like smaller sizes um, because their target market 
are generally smaller but with my case and this haul I think the sizing was not too bad Anyways, thank you for tuning in to another one of my try on hauls. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. You can check out my other episodes here. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe, turn on notifications, ring that bell so you get notified every time I upload. That is it from me, guys. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Yay. I'm off to see Santa. Bum, bum, bum.